Grade 8 math number 15.2a. In this unit, we're going to talk about two-way relative frequency tables. And to clear up any confusion, we're going to talk about frequency versus two-way frequency versus relative frequency tables. They use a lot of the same words, don't they? That can make it confusing. So what we talked about in 15.1 videos was frequency and relative frequency. And frequency is how many times something happens. And we did a problem a table where we showed 23 Dalmatians are born deaf. And the relative frequency would be how many times something happens compared to the total times it happened. So that would be 23 out of 100 Dalmatians are born deaf. Just knowing the frequency, you could say, is it 23 out of 23 or all 23 deaf? Oh, okay, it's only 23 out of 100. So you get a little bit more information. See, you can put it into perspective. So, we're going to compare an ordinary frequency table to a two-way frequency table to a two-way relative frequency table, okay? We talked about this before, so I'm going to go over it very quickly. An ordinary frequency table lists items together for how often they happen, their frequency. And we did one on tomato plants, and Bob had one tomato plant that gave him 10 tomatoes, then he planted two and he got 18 pounds of tomatoes, and when he planted three, he got 22 pounds of tomatoes. Okay, so that's just a frequency table. It tells us how often he got tomatoes. Okay, now in a two-way frequency table, it's going to show the data of two variables organized into rows and columns. So remember, columns are like the architectural columns that hold up a building, and rows are like a row of seats. So these are going vertical, see, up and down, and the rows are going horizontal, side by side, like the rows in a theater, okay? So, when we compare these two tables, we went from just saying the number of the tomato plants to how many pounds he got. Now we're going to say these tomato plants were grown in a pot, these plants were grown in the ground, these were grown with fertilizer, and these were grown without fertilizer. So you see how it's a little more detailed and we're comparing more? So the frequency of data are category, categorized in two ways, with and without fertilizer, in a pot, or in the ground. See? And then we can see there were 10 and 18 and 22. That equals 50 plants. I mean 50 pounds. And that's what this is. It's 50 pounds. But there's more information here, isn't there, in this two-way frequency table. So now, in this type of table, this two-way frequency table, we're going to take this information and we're going to figure the relative frequencies from the information that was in this table. See that? So now when we compare it to a two-way relative frequency table, now you can see there's a really big difference because it looks like there's a lot more information here, isn't it? Well, from this table, we figured what the relative frequencies are in this table we're going to figure the relative frequencies in the table. See, this one we got the relative frequencies from this table. This one we're figuring it right into the table. And that's why it's called a two-way relative frequency table. It's a two-way table just like this one, but the relative frequencies are already figured in it. Okay? So we need a little extra room in our box, don't we, to fit these numbers in. Okay? So, it's going to show the frequency of specific data values divided by the total number of data values in the set. So if there's 50 in the set, then each of these are divided by 50. See that? Because remember, fractions are just little division problems. When you see 13 over 50, it means 13 out of 50 or 13 divided by 50. This fraction bar right here is a division sign, okay? So this shows a ratio of the amount compared to a total amount. 13 were grown with fertilizer in a flower pot. That's 0.26 out of the 50. See? And you notice that 100% is 1. See that? We didn't write 50 here. 50 out of 50 is 1. That's 100%. When we add the totals, they equal 1. 0 0.62, 0 0.38 it equals 1.00. See that? So in a pot with fertilizer, there were 13 plants. In a pot without fertilizer, there were seven. Okay? And in the ground, 
with fertilizer was 18 out of 50. With fertilizer in the ground, I mean, without fertilizer in the ground was 12 out of 50. We totaled the 13 and 18 and get 31 out of 50. That's our 0.62. We totaled the 7 50ths and 12 50ths and get 19 50ths. So that's the total that were grown without fertilizer. They equal the 1, like we figured with our math, and this 13 and 7 50ths is 20 50ths, and 18 and 12 50ths is 30 50ths. 40% and 60% equals 100%. See how we did that? So the only difference that we can see right off the bat is that we had to use this information to find the relative frequencies, and in this table, it's all figured in it, so in one nice glance, we can see all our information. See? It's in the table. All right, we're going to talk about categorical data and these two-way relative frequency tables in this unit, and I hope I'll see you at 15.2b. Bye!